Alrighty, in this video I'll show you my favorite build. You'll see it in a moment. It's uh, what I call Hornet 1. And yes, it is a Federal Corvette. Um, lots of Guardian tech on it, of course. Um, so let's go to outfitting and see what it looks like. Short little video today. So, first off, we have our two huge hard points filled up with multi cannons. My large is a seeker missile rack. Reason for that is so that I can grab the small little guys that uh, I combat with. Of course, this is a combat build. My two classes are beam lasers, and my one classes are also beam lasers. So I can take out shields faster. Under utility mounts, I've got nothing but 0A shield boosters. So lots of shielding there. Military grade composite. Um, oh, I'm not at Shinrata Desert, that's why I don't see all of them. Excuse me. Um, we've got a Guardian. Power plant, 8 grade, A class, of course. 7A thruster, 6A th FSD, 5D life support, because I haven't lost shields yet, so I don't need to pop off shields and have better life support, so I got it lighter. Uh, power to C is an 8A, 8D sensors. And of course, the standard fuel tank for the vessel. 7A shield gen. 7D fighter hanger. Reason for that is so that I can pop out lots and lots of these little guys when I need to. Uh, 7A fuel scoop. So I can not roast the hill. Just a six class. Uh, Vehicle hanger in case I land on a planet and I want to do some exploration near within the bubble. And then the rest, well, one FSD booster so that I can explore a little bit faster or get to my destination faster. And standard docking computer. The rest of it are shield reinforcements as big as I could get. Um, like I said, this is. Hornet 1, and oops, let's do that first. Um, it's one of my favorite builds because I have yet to lose shielding on it in combat. Oops. Also, if I don't do that. Let me tell you, she is a big, big beast. And as typical, I typically go against PVE, so that's it. Hope you all have a good time. 